Hello students, uh, welcome to this session of Conceptual Orthopedics. Uh, today uh, we have uh, Professor Dr. Sudhir Kumar sir with us uh, and we have uh, today uh, one of its kind session. We will be talking about various instruments which are used in orthopedic clinical examination which uh, orthopedic students should be familiar with using, actually should master their use. So. Uh, Good morning, sir, and welcome to today's session. Very good morning. And uh, this session of uh, using various tools uh, in the day-to-day -day clinical examination is important. Uh, as these uh, tools that we need to have uh, on ourselves when we are uh, going for a outdoor practice or we are in the wards because these tools give you such an additional information uh, for clinical diagnosis uh, which can be added and aided by these tools. So unless you practice these tools in your day-to-day -day activity, uh, while examining your patients, you will fail to use them properly in the uh, final examination uh, when you appear in your master's or your national board examination. Because we have observed that you ask a student to show a reflex, a deep tendon reflex, and uh, student is unable to properly use the reflex hammer as well as position the limb in a relaxed position. Hence, it is important that you should be carrying these basic tools in your pocket or they should be available to you at random right on your examination table. So uh, what all tools an uh, orthopedic student uh, should have available with him? As you said, always in their pocket or in the, in the uh, available to them. The basic tools that should be available uh, with an orthopedic surgeon or as a matter of fact, with any orthopedic training, uh, are the skin marking pen, which should preferably be colored, either red, blue, or green. Uh, a measuring tape, the reflex uh, hammer, and a goniometer. So I can understand that uh, carrying a goniometer in your pocket all the time and all these things uh, may be a little too cumbersome for you, but then minimum that you should have in your pocket is a skin marker, which is used as a pen. You can keep it in your pocket, a measuring tape, and a percussion hammer. These are very handy to be carried, and uh, they are important uh, in your day-to-day -day clinical examination. And anything extra, any other instruments, uh, except for these th uh, four instruments? Uh, you should make certain instruments available in a tray which we call as an examination tray. Uh, your examination tray in the OPD as well as in the ward should have a torch, uh, a tuning fork, a cotton and uh, preferably 
in addition, uh, vernier caliper and uh, a plumb line, which will almost complete uh, complete the tools that you need to have in the examination area. Okay. And uh, obviously, he sh uh, the student should be well versed with using all these, how to use all these. Right. Uh, you see, uh, the most important that you have on your hand is uh, your measuring tape. And this measuring tape is a very versatile uh, tool to have in your pocket. You see, this measuring tape you can use uh, for any anthropometric measurement in children. It's so important for you to measure their arm span. You should know how to do a crown pubis, pubis heel measurement, and correlate them. It gives you such a wonderful clinical information. Uh, limb length phenomena, which we call as a limb measurements of the limbs of norm, abnormal from the normal, where you need to identify the basic bony points. In, in where you can measure them and compare them from the uh, normal limb. And for these bony points, you need to have a skin marker with you so that the skin marker need to be put in the identical positions in the given limbs. 